Hello. Oh, listen to that music. Um, welcome to part 21 of my playthrough as what's left of Castile. Europa Universalis 4. Let's get on with it then. And I'm basically struggling to survive in this game. And all I can think of to do is build ships because my economy is in the pits. And I doubt that I can fix it. I'm probably going to go bankrupt again somehow, as I have done a couple of times before early in the game. Um, so all I can think of to do is to build ships and use them to protect trade because the cost of maintaining a ship, as far as I can make out, is less than the cost of or less than the benefit that a ship gives to uh, in protecting trade or indeed enhancing trade as it actually seems to do. Who are Gorani? Who's Galizia? Galizia? Who's Galizia? Decline anyway. Portugal can't because they're uh, at war with England who I need on my side. But I can set Leon as a rival. These loans all the time. I'm in such a state. Um, diplomacy. Oh, I have enough rivals anyway. Well, I don't need those chachi what's it as a rival. Let's make Leon a rival. Oh, I can't replace him until 1666. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need Tunis as a rival. Let's replace them with Leon. Because they just made me a rival. Hindustan? Have I even discovered it? So, anyway, ships. Let's protect my flipping trade. You can see I'm winning all those battles, so I don't need to go there and have a look. Protect trade, well... Caribbean, yeah. And here, protect trade. Go for it. Ivory Coast. Oh, okay. Yes, well, Ivory Coast. Nice. Fisheries doing well. Come on, Ivory Coast. Where are you? I thought I'd done it anyway. Send. Yeah, I've done it. Good. All these loans, oh my goodness me. Is trade any better now all of a sudden? Not yet, but maybe it'll it'll pick up. I could use administrative power, but scientific experimentation. I don't know if I need it. Ideas are in my next idea is one of these. Or I don't know which one. I think I've done that. I certainly need these two. But they need diplomatic power, so I can, in fact, usefully reduce inflation a little bit. Okay. It may gradually help me out if I can keep on doing that. Oh, these loans is getting terrible. Fine. Come 
early frigate, and I can protect trade with that too. Let's do it. Surveil. And Caribbean. They do say they're sending more money. I mean, every time I come back to this trade screen, that's better. But. the economy screen, it doesn't seem to be better. Oh, it's, it's gone up a bit. I'm still in a chronic state. Fleet maintenance. Err. Mm. I'm using my boats to save myself. Can't afford to repay any loans. This is what happens when you take out too much credit. You know the credit card companies, they say to you, oh look, here's some free money. Of course it isn't free, it's it's at least two and a half times the amount you borrow in terms of interest, unless you pay it off really quickly. That is, if you, So if you keep paying the minimum payment, you end up paying a lot more on credit cards, and this is what this country is doing. With these loans, basically. And every time you pay back a, a loan, they increase your credit limit. Hooray! Our government reports. Yes, stability drop. <laughs> Ivory Coast. Oh, yeah, Ivory Coast. Go for it. Um, well, I can't help it. All right. A new queen! Hooray! Good at, um, at, she's quite good at everything except war, so that's cool. And Isabel, ooh, new queen. And she's good at military. It's like constant alerts. Like, do I have to know? <laughs> Is there an option somewhere to turn them down a bit? Maybe there is an option somewhere. Um, um, doesn't look like it. No. Not there anyway. Message settings? Ah. When I renew a loan, that's what I want to do, is get rid of it. Trade. Other. When I go bankrupt, yes, I need to know that one. Um, don't see. I don't know how to turn it off, but I'll figure it out. If it's like events, let's see.
because I'm getting so many pop-ups about these renewed loans that I can't do anything else almost. It's like the creditors phoning up every day. Are, are you going to pay anything back? Ooh. Probably in here somewhere, but where is it? Should we govern them? I don't know. How would they classify it? See, we have that one, but... Maybe there's something on the next message. It'll pop up soon, I suppose, anyway. Any more national decisions available? It's the same old ones. What's this? Ah, oh, when I renew an loan, don't open a pop-up window. Hooray. Ah. Oh. What's the icon? Uh, maybe that'll pop up here, but it might produce a zillion of them. Let's see what happens. How's trade doing? Oh, we got another one. Embrace the Counter Reformation. Hold the bus, I've got to read this. Idea cost plus five percent. Don't want that. Mission restraint plus one, but tolerance of heretics. Well, it doesn't matter. I just, I'm just not interested, you know. So what if I? supposed to pop up anymore? Splendid. Don't do that. Show that. Okay. If the icon starts popping up here, I'll get rid of that too. Oh no!
I've mentioned this before, but if if I were on a 1920 by 1080 screen, oh well, we can improve wine. How nice! Um, <coughs> then these menus, you could see more of the screen, but then these menus would be teeny weeny and hard to read unless you also have a 1920 by 1080 or similar screen on a smaller one like a laptop screen 1280 by 1024 or something these things need to be big enough so plus also the files which are uploaded to, to YouTube are already I don't know 600 megabytes to getting on for 2 gigabytes it varies I don't really want them to be much bigger given my upload speed it's really slow what's this oh right well 50 diplomatic power We'll lose one mercantilism. Well, what, 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 I'll lose diplomatic power. I'm gaining it fairly rapidly. All right. Reduce inflation again. I think. Got to keep an eye on that and keep reducing inflation. I think. Yeah, you see, it's starting to have an effect now. Do I have a lot of colonies yet that are not ready? That's still growing. Mm. And over here, I suppose this one is still growing, isn't it? Yeah. Still, there's two, two of them here. Or three? Oh no, that one's that one's okay. That one's still growing. That one's still growing. Okay. So I do do still need them to be growing, I suppose. And who are Leon's allies? Enemy is us. We have a truce with Portugal. Truth to Tunis. They actually have no allies? Hmm. What's this? Intercolonial trade. Establishing colonial subjects overseas has allowed us to expand our trade while remaining in control, importing goods from the territories that are essentially under Castilian control. As long as we supply our colony with what they need, they have no reason to start putting gold in the hands of our enemies. Sadly, the settlers sometimes have different opinions from our queen have a different opinion from our queen on what exactly they need. They have begun to trade with neighbouring colonies and natives circumventing trade barriers we put up to protect our nation's interests. This clearly benefits them, but whether it benefits us is highly doubtful. Gain 10% liberty desire, gain one mercantilism, or lose one mercantilism. These guys have no allies. And trust me, they only have 10k of an army, but then I can't afford it. But I really should have some army soon, otherwise life is going to be difficult if those so-and-so start causing trouble. You can go to the Caribbean, or Caribbean, if I can find it here. Okay. I can hear the chink, chink, chink of loans being taken out, but I don't see any icon unless this is it.
How exciting is it? Not very. Hmm. Oh, there's the icons. Oh, I see. Right. That's better. I don't need to be hassled by it all the time. Oh, uh, I can't afford to repay it. Maybe I could have momentarily. I don't know. I don't like that. They've got 10k troops and I don't have any. I suppose I could purchase mercenaries and go bankrupt. If my economy was good, I would get rid of Leon. It's mine, all mine. Some little tiny country. And look at these. Whoosh. Troops back, I suppose, from here. As long as these guys win all the time, which they do. That would give me 4k. I need some brigs. I keep building new ones, of course. I don't need these troops here unless I'm at war with France, but France my allies, or at war with these guys. And they're asking me to be friends after all. Hmm. I need five brigs to bring them back. Or I can bring them back in bits with one brig. Let's do that. Let's be cheap. Overtaking me, it's, it's it's worse than uh, the cost of my credit cards is is greater than the rate at which I can increase my income doing this. Given my inability to purchase endless numbers of ships, what's this? So whatever I do, I lose some trade efficiency. Fantastic. How's my trade node over here doing? 
I sent some brigs to patrol. I mean, does it make any difference at all? Nought. So where are my brigs? Let's go here. One bit of port. Oh, don't get on the round thing. Well, you. Let's go home. Start defending jolly old Seville. I can invest in new technology. Improve my units. Not them. Not them, it must be the leather cannon then. Swivel cannon. This one looks better actually. I see. I don't have the tech level for it yet. What's this guy? He's the brig. Oh. And there are my guys. Okay. So let's send the brig around to Gibraltar just for the sake of it. Has this one been built? What? Split, split. Brazil has declared war on is it these guys perhaps hmm. Portuguese Castilian Colombia. That was it, wasn't it? And so is this. I think I could, I've got a bunch of troops here that I don't need defending these colonies. I have to get Spain back and working them, really, don't I? Let's get, get all this working then, hey? I'm going to have a 
abandon the colonies, I think. What else can I do? I need a hundred admin power, I can't do it. If they were a vassal... Colony income 35%, vassal income... release, but what if I click on that? Can I make them a vassal state instead somehow? <clears throat> that looks like a better percentage. I don't know how to do it. I guess I can't right now, anyway. One thing at a time. Hooray. Oh no, okay. Let's join them together. They're now attached to transport. And you send them back home. I can invest in new technology. Go for it. Efficiency increased. Perfect. Reduce inflation again. Am I going to get ahead of it all or is it going to be a disaster? Well, both probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not getting ahead of it at all, in fact. There's still some guys down here, aren't there? Uh, two of them, yeah, so let's go. I have some more brigs over here. I thought I sent two or three. They appear to be doing nothing. Well, 
So I won't do that, I won't mess with them. They'll probably be alright. What are these two boats in port here? I think they're the ones that I built previously. Accept it, hooray. Um, protect trade. Ivory Coast, since that's where you live. be in profit for a start. Who? Chav Huveni. start building extra brigs. Now I'm just going to have to do this slowly, I suppose, and cheaply. Um, let's speed it up a bit, build another brig. Oh, I can't afford another brig for anything. Go on. Actually, you might as well go there. And then you guys, all of you, go ahead. There's no flag there. Oh yeah, go on. What's that? Oh, that's Scottish land. Ah. Oops. How are these guys doing? The Little Ice Age. Where are my brigs? I've sent them here. Not here yet. They're trading in slaves. People, I don't know. I can only extend the loan. Reduce inflation. This is not getting better. Noble's rightful claim. Who's 
10 prestige, that's all I can do really. I've always had negative, or nearly always had negative prestige. Are my boats on their way somewhere? Where are they? Administrative power, knock it down. But it's uh, a bit of a tough battle. It may be that rather than building ships, I should be paying off loans now because the interest is starting to really make me struggle. I can't quite keep up with it with shipbuilding. Um, or can I? Well, I don't think so. But if I knock inflation down at the same time, maybe I can make it work. There's different ways to manipulate this. taxes, of course. Right. How are we doing down here? So slow, but nearly. still can't fight in Spain until I've maintained them for a while and their morale is good. Which means the economy has to be good, but the, as an emergency defensive unit they may be okay. Briggs, are they on the way? Of course we won. Renewed alone, renewed alone, renewed alone. <laughs> Ooh! Fantastic, that's it for native attacks down there in Jolly Old Africa. I can either bring those guys home along with these and maybe attack flipping Leon or try to colonise another little bit of land. Oh, I'm not really able to go in there, am I? It's, it's theirs. I can see from the green colour, so forget it. Ok, 
screen inflation down quick. Inflation has the effect of increasing my costs all the time, of course. Where are my brigs? Are they on their way? They're still sitting here. Goodness sake, they're still sat here. Come on. Really, guys. Can I attach to transport? Yeah. Come on. Is it possible to recover from this situation? I, it may be possible, but it's touch and go, isn't it? Hmm. Conquest is a casus belli in this game. <laughs> What? Oh my god. Lose one stability or gain three inflation. Well, I can. But I can boost stability, right? I need a hundred administrative powers. So I'm going to have to do that in a bit. Are these guys empty of guys? Go away. There's too many notifications. I'm trying to do something. What's this? No. Nice. Shouldn't there be a little thingy? Fairly quick, or fairly quickly. Managed to build up a gigantic empire like the Portuguese. This is supposed to be all mine. Hmm. Well, it is the first time I've played the game. <laughs> right. Get on board the darn ship, guys.
Holy Roman Empire. Strange thing. Uniform regulations. Oh. Hmm. I can't repay the loan, but I can reduce or increase stability. Phew. And now I can't reduce inflation, of course, which is zooming, oh, getting worse. Oh. Nice. Not quite sure what happened, but okay. Maybe that's because of the improved stability. So there's another bunch of troops I can clear out of here and take them home. Colonies are now undefended except by their own citizens. It's a bit of a shame if uh, anybody comes to attack because I can't do anything about it. You so need a proper economy in the game and as I've suggested in life. This kind of paralysis happens in your own life too if you're maxed out on credit cards. You'll find you're earning loads of money and it's all going to pay off credit card and you don't see any benefit from it. So you're tempted to borrow it a bit more and at some point you reach the point where you can't manage the payments. And then things get really tough. Um, so basically my advice, oh dear, I lost this go-to where, how the heck did I lose that? That's ridiculous. So if I take my army away, I'm going to be faced with rebels from my flipping Castilian guys, right? Brilliant. Oh, wait a minute. Where are my guys? They've, very, they've run away to here, have they? Typical. Go here. guys go. What's the matter with them? No morale or something.
Oh, it needs to recover morale. That's just brilliant. immediately splash them, okay. So my brigs are where? I can't go to port. Let's get these guys home then. Developments will happen here. Maybe the Portuguese will conquer those guys anyway. <clears throat> Where are we? It's all go, isn't it? Oh. just carry on like this I suppose. Um, oh, how inflation going? Mustn't forget that. Goodness me. It's it's running away with itself. It's increasing faster than I can get rid of it. It was down to 16 but well maybe a bit more admin power will we'll get there. Um, because I did have that negative event. Gujarat, well, if only I were rich and militarily strong. Trade is starting to increase. Still in the in the black, in the red though. So let's stop this recording here. This is part 21. And I'll see you in part 22. I'll see if I can get anywhere with this. Or am I just doomed? Save to the cloud. Because I don't need these save games, do I? I see the cloud is a bit disposable. But anyway. Bye for now.